What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to be simply walking you through how to run a Facebook ad without a landing page. Um, <clears throat> this right here is super powerful, super basic, and, and super powerful. Um, the majority of the ads that you guys see on Facebook, okay, this goes for any industry, doesn't matter what type of business you're building. Um, <clears throat> nine out of 10 of them will be running a Facebook ad to a landing page. Okay, and, and I truly believe there's, there's many reasons for it, but at the same time, I truly believe the, the, the real main reason why is, is number one, to automate the entire process. Because I'm gonna show you, as I walk you through different objectives, different Facebook ad setups, you'll see the difference. You'll see the difference on why, on why driving the click to a landing page makes the most sense. But at the same time, you can definitely run it. You can capture a lead without a landing page, but there's just a few more steps to it. So <clears throat> nine out of 10 marketers, no matter what type of business you're building, will run it to an actual landing page. So let's just kind of, let's refresh this page. Let's just start from the beginning. Let's refresh this page and let's just click on, let's click on five ads, <clears throat> random ads. I don't know who the hell they are. Let's click on five ads and let's just use five because 10 will be here forever. Let's click on five and let's see where they take us. Okay. So we're scrolling through, scrolling through. In fact, let me even refresh it one more time just for some of you haters out there that, that want to say, you know, all this stuff is edited. No, dude, this is real life stuff. Let's freaking run it, run it, run it, run it. Let's go through. Here goes a sponsored ad. Okay. Eileen. Okay. Text image, learn more. We click on learn more and she is taking me to a landing page. Okay. One page, one red button, and that's how she captures the lead. Okay. That's one. Let's click on another one. Um, let's see. Let's see. Here goes another one. Let's click on this image. Actually, I don't know what the heck. Actually, you know what? Here's the deal. Okay, so as we're going through ads, I might as well, I might as well talk about them. Okay, so this right here, this is a sponsored ad, but I don't know what the heck they're doing. Here's a link right here. That link takes me out, but that image should have took me out as well. And these people are taking me straight to a website and most likely, they're only doing this to capture an audience of people who land here, okay? That would be the only, either these people have no freaking clue what they're doing with Facebook advertising, or they're simply running the ad to get the person over here to track it with their Facebook pixel and to put all the people who land here into a custom audience okay then they can retarget all those people who landed here with facebook ad number two that would be the only logical reason on why they're sending me to a website and not a landing page very very huge difference very different very very different so again you don't want to be taking me to a website and if you are your facebook pixel better be on it and you better be creating a custom audience around everyone who lands here okay and if you're not doing that you're not running these ads the right way, okay? There should be a learn more button. This image should take me out to an actual page, which it doesn't. It just opens up the image. So that ad, horrible, horrible ad. Let's look at another one. Let's scroll through, scroll through. Here goes sponsored funnel builder. I click on learn more and they're taking me out to a landing page, okay? So that's, let's, let's call this number three. They're actually, shit, they're taking me out to a freaking full-blown website with all this crap at the top. See, and the reason why you don't send people to a website is because before you know it, I get here, I click on what do you get, I come over here, I click on what I do, I come over here, and then I end up clicking on, there's just way too much going on. This is a website. And for those of you that are real estate agents, think of your Keller Williams website, your Century 21 website, your Coldwell Banker website, your replicated websites that every agent in the country gets or in the company gets, right? That same duplicatable web, replicated website. Your website just look, looks exactly like the agent that works with you um, down the street. Same company, same website. 
a lot of you guys are sending us to a website where there's a million things going on. Before you know it, I'm reading the whole damn page and I'm, and I'm Xing out. That right there is your bounce rate. People are clicking on it. You're taking them to a full blown website. There's a ton of stuff going on before you know it. Seven seconds later, that person's gone. You did not capture the lead. Okay. So again, either this person funnel builder, it's a pretty freaking boldy name to be freaking naming your business page and you're sending me to a freaking website, right? That, that happens to not even really be a funnel. It's a full blown website pretty much. Either you know what the hell you're doing because again, your Facebook pixel is tracking. You're creating a custom audience around all those who are landing there and you're retargeting them in the future. If you're not doing that funnel builder, again, another person who is completely doing it wrong when it comes to Facebook ads. Let's look at one more. Um, 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 here goes Weston Living. I click on learn more and they're taking me to, a, let's see if it's a landing page or a website. Look at that, man. Another, another, these people, I'm telling you, man, these people don't know what they're doing. And that's why for all of you digital marketers out there, for all of you freaking freelancers and people that are aspiring to build an agency, this is what business owners are doing, man. And they're freaking blowing their budget. They're wondering why Facebook ads is not working for them. They're wondering why they can't turn an ROI, a return on investment. These local business owners need your help. I'm telling you, man, as, 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 as much hype that you hear around digital marketing agencies or social media agencies. I'm telling you, man, you may think that the competition is high. You may think that everyone and their mother is building a social me media agency. Guess what, man? Nine out of 10 agencies don't even know what they're doing. But at the same time, there's millions of businesses, man, tens of millions of businesses in this country alone that still have no clue. Okay. Now, again, this is not where you want to be taking me to a full-blown website, but if you are going to take me here, make sure that your Facebook pixel is tracking it and make sure you're creating a custom audience around all those who land here, okay? Because if you're not, again, Weston, you're freaking blowing your money. Let's look at one last one and let's see where they take me. Berkshire Hathaway. Okay, so here's an actual real estate agent. Let's click on learn more and let's see where they're taking us. I'm telling you guys, these people need your help. They're taking me to a full-blown website. It's like, dude, you're spending money on this ad, and the only reason why you're spending money is to capture a lead. Now, again, they could just be branding themselves. They could just be getting their name out, and again, creating a custom audience around everyone who lands here because they're, they're, they're Facebook pixeling. But just because you're Facebook pixeling doesn't mean that you're building a custom audience around all those who are landing there. So number one, and number one only, if you're gonna be running ads to this freaking bullshit website, you better be creating custom audiences around all those who land there, okay? Because you need that data to then retarget in the future. Because at the end of the day, that's what this is all about, is retargeting, getting back in front of the people who are engaging with your ads or watching your video ads and retargeting, putting your brand back in front of them, back in front of them, back in front of them until they actually make a move and click or opt into your pages. But this is not where you take them, man. This is not where you're taking them. So I just showed you a ton of examples, you guys, where these people still have no clue on what the heck they're doing. But let's, I'm going to click on one last one, man. Cox Business, let's see where you're taking me. Cox Business, I mean, shit. These guys, for sure, they have no idea what they're doing either. They're taking me to a web page where there's a million things going on. And then, and then schedule consultation. None of this, none of this, none of this, none of this at the top. There should be one button, schedule consultation, and that's it. At least say somewhat. They know they got all this stuff going on. It's still not a landing page. It's a website. It's a website. So that's not where you want to be taking people, man. You want to take them to a landing page if you're looking to capture the lead, okay? Now, here's the deal. Let me show you how to do it without a landing page. So if you're looking to capture a lead without a landing page, how are we going to do that? Okay. First of all, it all starts here, man. It all starts here. I tell, I tell this to my, my clients and, and, and my YouTube fam all the time. I've said this a million times on other videos. You can have the best image. You can have the best video. Your message could be freaking top notch. 
and amazing, right? You could bring the most value in your video, in your video, and <clears throat> there's really no doubt about it, right? That video is the shit, let's just say, right? And let's say, for example, your targeting is also on point. You're you're targeting a local area. Let's say you're let's say you're a real estate agent. You're targeting Atlanta and you're out there in Georgia and you're targeting Atlanta looking for buyers and sellers, right? You're starting to farm that area. You're branding yourself through Facebook video ads and you're targeting that local area. So your video is on point. Your targeting on, is on point. But if this ad objective is not on point, your whole entire campaign will be messed up. This is where, not necessarily messed up, not, that's the wrong word. It won't be messed up. It just won't give you what you were looking to get. Now, if you were running Facebook ads to capture a lead, so I'm talking of this whole message, this whole video is really for those of you that are capturing leads, service-based businesses, um, or even, even e-commerce businesses that are trying to get people to buy stuff, right? If you're trying to get me to click and buy your necklace off your Shopify website, the same rule applies to you as well. But <clears throat> really, it comes down to anybody who's looking to, 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 to get somebody to transact something, aka purchase something, or this is for those of you business owners that are looking to get people to opt in. If you're a business owner looking to capture a lead, okay, how can we do it without a page, without a landing page, okay? And here's what it is. Here's what I want you guys to understand. The most popular, popular ad objectives, okay, this is step one. The, the, well, first of all, if you're, if you're real estate, you got to always make sure you check this box or if you're employment or credit, make sure you comply and you check these, these boxes here because your ad won't be approved. So if you're a real estate agent, for sure you're going with housing. Okay. So let's start there. Next, these are our different objectives, awareness, consideration, and conversion. Okay. How are we going to capture a lead without a landing page? it's going to be this one right here, lead generation, okay? Now, if you're running a video, that's fine. You could still run the video, post it on your business page, and then run it under lead generation. Right there, that's pretty much the only, only, only way, other than messages, if you're running message ads, then hopefully you have many chats set up. Um, <clears throat> Make sure you go over to ManyChat. I don't really use ManyChat. I don't. I hate message marketing. I hate it. Like even sometimes when I go to opt into people's stuff and 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 they want to send me to their messenger, to Facebook Messenger, I don't even proceed. Like I hate when people try to message me <clears throat> for marketing related stuff through Facebook Messenger. So I don't really use Facebook Messenger. But if you're going to be running message message ads right here, messages, you're going to definitely want to set up your many chat. Okay. And there's a ton of, of, of videos on YouTube for many chat. But again, aside of that, I mean, you're either trying to get somebody and, and that's, this is all what I call micromanaging, man. That's why lead generation and messages. That's pretty much the, the only way that you're going to be able to capture lead. Now, can you run an engagement ad? What's engagement? Engagement is when you see these ads that have 500 likes, 5,000 comments, 5,400 shares, like these ads that you see with massive numbers on them, right? Those are engagement. They ran that engagement ad for, for a long time, maybe a week, maybe a couple weeks, maybe a couple months. They ran engagement. And what they do with engagement is they simply track or not necessarily, I mean, yeah, I guess track, you can call it track, but it's more like they're, they're micromanaging the comments. That's engagement. So if you're running an ad on a listing or an open house or, or something regarding buying a property or anything like that, and you're looking to capture leads, but you're running engagement, that type of lead capture is more like micromanaging the comments because as comments come in, that's engagement. As comments come in and you're running an ad to your local area and someone comments, hey, nice house. I'd love to, more, I'd love to learn more about it. Send me some details. You have to physically micromanage that comment message that person or maybe <clears throat> or maybe um um reply to that comment and then get them into facebook messenger so you're going to end up dming them and then from there you're physically messaging that person to pre-qualify them or to get them on the phone now through many chat through many chat you can set a lot of that up where when people comment on a post, ManyChat automatically replies. But I'm telling you, this stuff is more complicated. ManyChat is way more complicated than setting up a simple email sequence or a simple landing page. 
good luck on trying to figure out this part. I don't really mess with many chat. It's just too many things going on, but it, I know it is a simple process as well. Um, but I use email automation over, over many chat because again, many chat is, is for your, it's for Facebook messenger. So if you're running an ad and you're doing it under messages, you're going to want to automate it somehow, some way. And many chat will help you do that. But again, I have to micromanage that my many chat can send out a series of, of messages automatically, but I'm still going to have to take that lead, that name and number, that person's name, I'm still going to have to physically take them off of Facebook, put them in some kind of CRM. So if you're a real estate agent or any kind of business owner, you should have some type of CRM, some type of database where you're storing all of your leads, right? With this, you'd have to, you can, you can automate the, the, the many chat and automate a handful of messages to, to pre-qualify that prospect. So you're not wasting your time, but you're still going to have to check that message at the end of the day. And, and, and pull that lead out to put it in some kind of CRM so you can now have, have a list that you're going to be able to nurture in the future. Or you can leave that lead in ManyChat and just simply auto, automate everything through ManyChat and keep your list in there. But again, ManyChat is not free. Um, once, you, once you get it up and going, you'll be at 10 bucks a month, 20 bucks a month, 50 bucks a month. So the more subscribers you get, the more people you get on your list through messages, through ManyChat, the higher your monthly plan goes up. So that right there, I don't care to run those types of ads at all. Um, I don't care to micromanage it under engagement. I don't care to micromanage the comments that are coming in. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to have to look at my comments all damn day. Um, so, but engagement is another way you can, you can do it. If you don't have a landing page, you can just run an engagement ad and just wait for people to comment. Um, again, mess messages, but you want to set up uh, many chat. And then the, the last one on how to capture leads without a landing page is obviously going to be lead generation. Now, again, as I look at tons of ads, not too many people use lead generation, but then again, a lot of people do. So I don't want to completely um, um, count, you know, count them out. A lot of people do use lead generation. Let me tell you why I don't though. Let me see if I can find one last ad. <laughs> Grammarly. It's not really, I'm looking for more of an individual type of solopreneur type of person. Let's see, Google ads. <clears throat> um, 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 um. Let's see, one more ad. Let's see where they take me. I just want to see if I can find a, um, elegant themes. I click on learn more. Again, a landing page or a website. Let's see where they're taking me. Take me to a full-blown website full-blown website. Okay. I'm telling you, man, there's so many people that are not capturing leads the right way. They're not running ads. They're not capturing the lead. I'm telling you, man. So those of you, again, who are aspiring agency owners, there's a ton of businesses out there that need your help, man. This one right here, Cabiro, Cabiro. I don't even know how to say it. Click on learn more. And they're taking me to a full-blown website. Where the hell are the smart marketers at, man? This is crazy. Okay, falcon.io, book nail. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Resources, more. Before you know it, I'm clicking on company. Before you know it, I'm over here reading about the company. I'm on the Twitter. I end up clicking on, on about us and coming over here and clicking on this guy. It's like, dude, and then before you know it, dinner's ready. I got to go. It's like, dude, these guys, man, again, shout out to every single person I just pulled up. But if you're not creating a custom audience around all those who are landing on your page, you're freaking missing the boat. Okay. Let's click on one last one because this stuff is blowing my mind, man. I cannot believe there's these many people out here that are not running ads the right way. That's MailChimp. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. One more sponsor. BJ's Restaurant. Okay, man. I talk a lot of smack about how easy it is to run ads for restaurants. Let's see where these bozos are taking me. Okay. Break from your typical lunch routine and head to BJ's for our new eight, 10 and $12 lunch menu. I click on learn more. These guys better know what the hell they're doing. Holy crap, man. Holy crap. Gosh, dude, someone go help. Oh my, I'm sorry, guys. The camera shook. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Someone go help these idiots. 
Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. When I click on learn more, this should take me to one single landing page where I have to opt in to download my coupon. You're taking me to your full-blown website, dude. Before you know it, I'm clicking on deals. I'm clicking on beer. I'm clicking on about us. I'm clicking on menus. I'm looking at pasta favorites. And before you know it, my kid's getting off of school and I got to go. It's like, dude, again, you better be creating custom audiences around all those who are landing there. Because if you're not, you're freaking blowing your budget, BJ. What the hell, dude? That's not how you want to run Facebook ads at all. And so I'm telling you, man, so many people need your help in 2020, you guys. It's not even funny. Um, but let's get back to this really, really quick lead generation. I tried to pull one up, but no one's even running lead generation ads. But let's just say you are and you're interested. And you let's say you run a lot of them. The reason why I don't run lead generation ads, and lead generation is a simple form. So as you come over here and see a Facebook ad, and you click on learn more, here's a sponsored ad, I click on learn more. Rather than it going to a independent third party website or landing page, when I click on learn more, Facebook populates a form. And so now you're using Facebook's lead form, okay? That form pops up right here in my face, so it doesn't take me off of Facebook, it keeps me on Facebook. And there's already my information that's pre-populated in that form, right? And that sounds like a damn good deal. But the reason why I don't do it is because I still have to micromanage it. Meaning when that form is filled out, so someone clicks on learn more, the Facebook lead generation form pops up right in front of my face and, and, and it'll say name, email, and my information, the user's information will be pre-populated. And once that person, that prospect, that lead, once they click submit, then that lead is in your Facebook business page and you have to micro, not my, well, yeah, you have to micromanage it because you're looking at it all damn day, but then you have to download that lead off of Facebook and upload it to your CRM. So you would download it off of Facebook into a CSV file and then you would upload it to your, CR, to your CRM and that CRM better be an email autoresponder. So there's just a handful of steps. And, 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 and if you want to try to automate it, what you can do is you can connect Zapier, which Zapier isn't free. There's different uh, pricing. Look, in fact, let's just pull up the pricing. Here's Zapier. So with Zapier, Zapier is a plugin. Zapier is a, is a third-party software, and it ranges from zero to... 600 bucks 599 a month so shit try that out for 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 example you know what i mean that's not cheap but zapier will allow you to integrate it with your lead form with your lead generation ad so when people fill out the form that person is automatically put into your crm okay Zapier is the interconnection. Zapier is the software. Zapier is the link. It's going to go from, from the lead, from the lead form, that person filling out the form to them clicking submit to right away them being in your email autoresponder. But you have to connect Zapier and, and that's something I don't mess with. But because, yeah, I just don't because there's just too many steps. I want to automate this whole, di this whole damn thing, you guys. I want to run a Facebook ad while I'm sleeping. I want that person to go to a landing page while I'm on vacation and I want that person to fill out a form and be automatically on my email list while I'm at dinner with my family. Like I don't want to lift a finger. Like I don't want to have to download a CSV file. I don't want to have to upload the damn file to my email autoresponder. I don't want to have to email people individually. Yeah, right. Even if just a handful of leads were coming in per day, dude, even if you just have two leads coming in a day, if you think you're going to automatically email that person, you're crazy. Like, there's no way you're not going to be able to do that. Like before you know it, a few days are going to be passed and, and seven leads haven't got an email from you. That is dinosaur age. Like you have to come up to, up to 2020 with us. You guys, you have to automate the thing, man, leverage software. And, and I'm telling you, man, I've been leveraging software for well, Kartra specifically for the past year and a half. Kartra runs my entire online business. So while most of you guys are Mickey Mousing with five different softwares and paying a monthly fee for this, a monthly fee for that, it's like, dude, 
all in one in Kartra. So I provided a 14 day trial. There's a link below profitwithkartra.online. That's my landing page software. That's my email automation. And then also as these emails go out, after they opt in, emails go out. In those emails, there's call to actions to get people to do what you, got, you want them to do, either buy your product or schedule an appointment. That's the back end. So even if I was going with lead generation, okay, I use Facebook's landing page. I use their form. They fill out the form. They click submit. Then I still have to download that, that lead, micromanaging. I have to upload it to my CRM, or I can use Zapier to do all that, but I got to pay for Zapier. Um, but at the same time, it has to be uploaded. You want that lead in some type of email autoresponder so you don't have to lift a finger. That's what automation is all about, you guys. So again, if you're going to use lead generation, connect Zapier um, and, and good luck with that because it's not exactly the easiest thing and it's not free either. After your leads really start to increase, you're going to have to start paying for Zapier. Um, and that's why I'd rather just pay for Kartra. I'd rather pay for one software that comes with everything, which allows me to automate the entire process. But again, if you have to try to capture a lead by running a Facebook ad and you don't want to drive it to a landing page, lead generation is going to be your best bet. Um, there's just a few more steps involved and, um, it's more micromanaging than, than I want to, you know, deal with. So Hope that helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Smash the bell for notifications. My name is David. I've been building a social media agency since 2016. So all I'm doing weekly is dropping videos on the day in the life, how I'm building my business, how I get my clients, how I automate my entire online operation from my landing pages to my email automation to my affiliate marketing, how I'm making money with YouTube, how I'm making money with affiliate marketing and Kartra. I have a ton of value and a ton of, of, of information that I share with you guys on this channel. So please subscribe, comment below, let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you guys got going on. All right, you guys, so I'll see you on the next video. Run those ads and I'll see you soon.